walking into our old garden. That's the stable wall built by my great grandfather in 1900. Here's the garden. Over there, behind that espalier, is the greenhouse or old conservatory. Then over this way, down this bit of mown path, this is going to have an electric fence put in and the sheep are going to graze all this. This is the back side of the stable. This is the big old water capture tank we restored last summer during the drought. So it collects water from the stables. Over here, this is what was known as the vine house. The vine is still here. Here's the vine. It's on the outside of what was the greenhouse. The greenhouse would go up like that and then back up to the wall over there. So that you can see the trace of that along there. That's where the old vine house, that used to be the vine house, and growing up there were tomatoes and things like that. Then through this door, this was the peach house. And along that wall were peach trees. I've planted a lovely wisteria here. And the grapes still produce grapes. So this had tomatoes and then winter flowering flowers for the market for my grandparents. And this was the end of it. So it went from this wall here all the way along down there. So, but this is all planted up and um, it's, yeah, full of weeds, but that will, um, with time, I'm hoping to restore these to be greenhouses again, but everything is little by little. And at the moment with COVID lockdown, there's not much likelihood of um, anything happening here. The chimney, by the way, is on the other side of my spinning workshop. Down here, this is the old potting shed. And you can see some of my grandfather's prizes, horticultural prizes, from when he was gardening. So through here, this is the yard. That's where the rams have been staying while they one have been treated. So the chimney belongs to the old laundry. And there's, this is my spinning room, which tour groups come and visit. And that's the fireplace. And this we restored, oh, about five or six years ago, I think. New roof, new everything. Uh, and whitewashed the walls. So that's that, but some of it we've only restored with a tin roof, but we slated this up so that we could keep the Velux windows in. And then that's an old water tank there, but I've planted it with roses, a, a sage and cotone aster. So there you go. That's uh, a little short private tour.